years in number like the cups that pile before her. Yet never will the jars run dry, eternal springs of wine. She looks up to the moon, making a pun on the lyrics. The word for moon is tski, while tski nu means not run dry. This rhythmical section is a great innovation in the music, and the dancer's movements are subtle yet precise in keeping with the irregular time. As the drunkenness muddles her thoughts, so her steps become faltering and unsteady. Looking into a jar, she is repelled by her own hideous reflection. Back in her own reverie, the sound of the nearby falls will be as the beats of a drum. The wind through the trees will take the place of a flute. We hear how she delights in this evening's orchestra.
and from between the clouds even the moon peeks through to keep her company. The rising fan will represent the moon. Gradually, the poisoned sake produces an adverse effect as she staggers and falls about. Though not enacted in this dance, the sake will eventually drug her to sleep, whereupon the god, Susanoo, will take her life. Finally, we're told, she appears in her true shape, the great serpent with eight heads, its back covered in moss. Its eyes shine like mirrors, and its scales make a clacking sound as the horns stand up on end. At last, her eyes will dart towards the altar where her victim lies. <laughs> 